Forbes. Welcome to the very first episode of Street Smart Business TV. I cannot wait to get started. Here's what's going to be happening. Now, every two weeks, you're going to be getting a new episode coming to you straight from our workroom, our war room, if you like. We're going to be sharing strategies and ideas with you that are going to help you improve your business dramatically, because this is all about you. This is us sharing what we've learned. We've literally created tens upon tens of millions of dollars, both for ourselves and for our clients, and we're going to be sharing all of these strategies straight to you through Street Smart Business TV. I'm going to be keeping them short, going to be keeping them punchy, you're going to be getting guests coming in to be sharing their words of wisdom with you. And with any luck, you're going to absolutely love this, this information we're going to be sharing with you. Now, to get started, what I want to do is cover off on how you get what you want when you want it. And, you know, the good news is it's quite simple to achieve. You see, success really boils down to five solid principles, in my opinion. The first and most important principle is clarity. You've actually got to know what you want. Now be honest with yourself, ladies and gentlemen. When was the last time you took time out and actually thought about what you wanted in life? What sort of home you wanted? What sort of car you wanted to drive? What sort of, you know, environment and lifestyle you wanted to live? How many hours do you want to work a week? Now, the next thing I want you to think about is focus. Many clients that I work with seem to be juggling 10 or 15 balls and they get these shiny objects where they think something is better on the other side of the, the world or grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Well, I'm here to tell you nine times out of 10, that's not true. That's BS, all right? The reality is if you've got a reasonable vehicle, if your business has got decent maths, which is margin, and decent psychology, which is, you know, lots of people want what you have, then what you should be doing is focusing on getting very, very good at what you're doing. Now, the next thing is team. All right, now, no business owner can succeed if they don't have the best team around them. Okay, the very best companies in the world have the very best teams. Is that logical? The second best companies in the world have the second best teams. And the third best companies in the world, well, they're generally going out of business. So you must have the people that are committed to you. Staff that are willing to do what you, what you want them to do. Remember, you're the leader, okay? And you need to lead your team and they're looking for their leader to take them where they want to go. Now, here's the next thing, determination. Determination's absolutely critical, guys. Everyone comes against brick walls. I've had them, you've had them, my mum's had them, probably my mum's mum's had them, believe me. So, you know, life's no better roses, but what it is, is the actual ability to get up, keep going, keep putting one foot in front of the other, and just not giving up, okay? And the final principle that I've learned is that you've got to watch your pennies. Because when money starts coming in, when you start using the principles that we're sharing with you, and you start becoming street smart in your business, you're going to start seeing that money coming in. And it's probably going to come in faster than you've ever seen it before. But when this money starts coming in fast, you start to forget just how hard it was to get to that point in the first place. So, what can I say to you from here? I'm just going to give you some principles. This is success principles that I, that I do every day. Here they are, so listen closely. Number one, wake up two hours before everybody else. Don't sleep your life away. Man, okay, life's too exciting. So get up two hours early, and then when you get up two hours early, it's going to give you time to write down your goals. Now I want you to write your goals down every day without fail to keep reminding yourself why it's great to get out of bed in the morning. Then, every night before you go to bed, I want you to plan your day before you go to bed. So you know what's gonna happen the next day and you sleep on it. Your subconscious goes to work there and you start to come up with solutions so that the next day goes the way that you plan. The ne next thing I want you to do with these goals that you write down every day, focus only on your high-end goals, all right? Very, very important. Put everything else to the side, just work out what your number ones are and focus on them and do not get distracted until that thing is completed. The other thing that I want you to make sure that you do, and I cannot stress how important this is, I want you to read a book or study or do something that's inspirational for you. And the other thing is your health is so important. So please do your level best to exercise for at least 30 minutes a day. If you follow these success principles that I'm sharing with you right now, and you do it religiously, in 60 days, I promise you, your life will not be the same. So take that 60 day challenge, do exactly what I've shared with you, and then please give me your feedback, let me know what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Mal Emery, uh, commonly known as the millionaire maker to this interview. Um, Mal, are you there? 
I am Ian, and you can call it Millionaire Maker, mate. We can add a couple of zeros to that. So, but I'm happy with that phraseology. Oh, great. Well, Mel, thank you for your time. Uh, the, the the importance of this is that we really have that mission uh, that to achieve financial and lifestyle freedom for business owners within three to five years or less and that's really the purpose of this Street Smart Business TV. I told him that I'd love to interview him and so he's obviously dressed up to the nines for this big opportunity and uh, and Mal, I, I just want to take a second out to, to get your take on that because you really are, I guess if you, anyone ever makes it, I guess that's where you are right now. So. So what's your take on that, buddy? Well, Ian, it's a new shirt. Um, by the way, I only bought this the other day, so I did sort of make an effort. Um, so, or, or it is a polo shirt at least, and, and you're right. Uh, I suppose, Ian, um, it, it's all about your own autonomy and what that looks like. Um, you know, I set out to create a certain autonomy when I became wise enough to recognise the advantage of having such a thing. And autonomy is different to everybody. So you might define it as doing what you want, with whom you want, when you want, at a price that you want. And that pretty much should define most people's goal where business is concerned. The next question is, you know, how did I get started in business? How the hell did you know I wanted you to ask that question? Because I do want to know how you got started in business. Well, you know, by accident, Ian, like most people, uh, and, and, but unfortunately for most people, you know, they are a disaster that get to happen. Uh, we know the statistics on failure rates, and as you know, I, I didn't and haven't failed in any business. So how many business would you have uh, bought, bought, built and sold, I guess, since you started this and discovered this? Yeah, look, I haven't added them up lately, but we're, we're in between 20 and 30. Okay. Um, you know I've sort of sold one recently again um, to, f to finish that as well. So it's not something that I don't still do. Because you know you and I sing from the same choir. Um, I can tell everyone watching this uh, that from the day I met Mal, the, the blimmin' mongrel made me uncomfortable and it's never stopped 15 years later. Um, but you know what? Uh, every dollar that I invested in Mal, uh, learning my education and becoming the man that I am, the business uh, operator that I am today, has returned at least 12, 12 to 1, at least. And trust me, it's a considerable sum. Um, I'm curious, your very first business, you may have mentioned it when you're talking about the hardware store. How long did it take you from opening the store to selling the store now? 13 months. 13 months, okay. From zero. And sold for a you know five hundred thousand dollar sort of payout by today's standards. My and then I was a kid, Ian, and I didn't really know what I was doing. I, I I didn't read a book till I was forty-one, as you know. But I I was a marketer from day one, simply because I just ask questions that other people don't ask. And if you if you want to know those two questions, it's you know how can I get them to buy from me as opposed to each and every other competitor in my category or market. That's, that's been number one from day one to me and you know it's still the first question I ask everybody and you stump them all right there. They can't answer it, they don't know. Everybody that's listened to this interview, um, I'm sure they've gotten benefit. I, I for one have gotten even more little golden nuggets out of it. but. For everyone that's been watching this, what is the one action you would like them to take right now, as soon as they finish watching this interview, to go and do in their business life? So the first thing folks should do is come to the conclusion that all the money's in the marketing and you must master marketing. And it's our type of marketing, not what they teach at universities. That's okay for them. It won't work in this real world that you'll live in. Uh, you most likely won't be after a degree and that only gets you a job anyway. So it's the mastery of certain skills and in particular uh, marketing and sales is where the money is. Now it's probably a boring answer but it's the weapon I've used time and time again to take ordinary businesses and turn them into extraordinary businesses. So right execution of marketing and sales I mean, will fill your bank account my friend.
guys. Now, our very first Q&A. We, we, got, we got some questions coming through and we had a bit of a brainstorm. In fact, I've got to give full credit to our AV master, uh, Michael. He said, well, why don't we have a QA session on Street Smart Business TV? I said, what a great idea. So seeing as it was your idea, Michael, what do we got today? All right, so questions. Now, we get questions coming to us every day, guys, and, and so please, any questions that you want to be asking of us, don't hesitate. Uh, put it onto Facebook. We want to see what you want to know, and we'd love to be answering them here on Street Smart Business TV. And also, don't forget, any comments you want to put down the bottom of there, uh, please, we want to get feedback and interact with you as much as we can. So the question today comes from Kate B in Queensland via our Facebook, and it says, Ian, I get so frustrated with my staff. I ask them to do things and yet, you know, nine times out of ten I forget what I ask them and when I remember a month later I find it isn't done. Well, I don't know about you viewers but I can totally relate to that question. And here's what I've got to say to you, KP, is number one, make sure you have weekly meetings with your staff and document the tasks that you want them to do. You must always be clear with your instructions. Say, right, Kate, um, this is what I want you to do. And now tell me when you can finish that task for me. Next week, next Tuesday, great. Okay, so we'll have our meeting next Tuesday and you can give me an update on that and let's see how we go. So you'll have it completed for me. You won't forget, will you, Kate? So guys, if you use that, if you always make sure that you allocate an individual to a task, you set a deadline for that task to be done, you get the individual to buy into that and say, yes, I will have it done. Believe me, the first time and the second time, chances are they may not follow through on it, but then they're going to realize, holy crap, my boss is serious. They actually want me to do this thing that they asked me to do. And you'll start to see that your staff really start getting engaged and they start taking a lot of pride because they're going to get recognition for what they do. All right, Kate, hope that helps. Everyone, see you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.